escorted into a Belgrade court, the last suspect wanted by the UN for crimes committed during the bloody breakup of Yugoslavia. After years on the run, Goran Hadzic was eventually caught in a village near Belgrade. This is a moment of satisfaction for the Serbian president. This morning at 8.24, Goran Hadzic was arrested in the Fuska Gora region. With this, Serbia has concluded its most difficult chapters in the cooperation with the Hague Tribunal. Goran Hadzic, here in uniform, was a leader of the Serbs in Croatia in the early 90s, when they declared their own breakaway republic. He's charged by the UN court in The Hague with the murder and persecution of hundreds of Croats and others, and the imprisonment, torture and starvation of thousands of detainees in camps. This was the town of Vukovar in 1991. At the time, it was the worst fighting in Europe since the Second World War. Vukovar was shelled for months. When Croat forces surrendered, some 250 men were massacred by Serb militias. Prosecutors in The Hague will be asking Goran Hadzic about these events. All these years later, and it's still very easy to get an idea of what happened here in Vukovar. People here have been pleased to hear that Goran Hadzic has been arrested, but there are still many bitter memories. They came to this place just outside Vukovar, scene of the worst massacre. Men like Zdravko Komsic, who lost friends and still wonders how he escaped. Despite the fact that Goran Hadzic was the biggest perpetrator of the atrocities that happened here, I think there are others who are still at large. And until they are punished, the Vukovar story will not be over. It's a town that bears its scars gracefully. For some, the hurt endures. But the capture of Goran Hadzic is an important moment in Serbia and Croatia's long journey from a dark moment in history. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, Vukovar.